This was the scene today at noon outside the Washington County Prosecutor's Office in Ann Arbor. Drop the charges, do it now! Over a few dozen Palestinian peace activists demanding charges be dropped against four of their comrades who were arrested at the encampment. We will not stop demanding that these charges are dropped. Monday morning, just before 6, University of Michigan police dressed in riot gear broke up the pro-Palestinian encampment at the Dayak. <laughs> Sammy Lewis was one of the nearly 60 people living in the encampment that was set up a month ago. The Detroit resident was on night watch when Sammy says the police surrounded them and gave only a few minutes warning. How chaotic was that moment? It did feel scary. They started uh, hitting us with batons, hitting um, a lot of us in the chest. Um, I know my throat got hit several times. They were there to be aggressive. Sammy says the incident also left injuries on her arm and shoulder. And more tests are now required to determine the extent of the damages. Was this an act of just one officer? Probably multiple, but I'm not really sure. I was thrown to the ground and one time I felt like I was dragged and that I was being trampled as other uh, protesters were thrown on top of me. The Diag was cleared out in minutes, with at least three protesters seeking medical attention and four people arrested, with at least one facing felony charges for resisting and obstructing. In that moment, what was going through your mind? To defend the camp. Over the past few months, pro-Palestinian encampments at universities across the country have been cleared with the use of force. But to find out why it happened here, I went to the Department of Public Safety and Security. There's allegations of excessive use of force, and so that's one of the things I wanted to talk to the Deputy Chief. Deputy Chief Melissa Overton did get back via email saying that since it's an open investigation, there will be no comment. However, yesterday, University of Michigan President Santa Uno issued a letter announcing the end of the encampment, saying that it came after protesters refused to comply with requests to remove the external camp barriers, refrain from overloading power sources, and stop using open flames. It certainly wasn't communicated clearly to us that that was the reason they would sweep the encampment. As far as safety goes, um, the university certainly did not improve safety on campus by, by coming in and sending the cops. Michael Mueller is a grad student at the university. He says the key goal of the protest is for the university to stop investing in companies that profit from the war in Gaza. Why is this movement important to you? I mean, I think it should be important to all of us. As an American Jew, I do feel a responsibility to speak out against atrocities that are being done in my name. Now, the Washington County prosecutor tells me that he will not be able to comment on the charges because he still hasn't received the case files. So I asked University of Michigan police um, what's happening with the case files. They said they don't have a definitive timeline, but they will be sending it to the prosecutor's office soon. In Ann Arbor, I'm Faraz Javed, 7 News Detroit. All right, Faraz, thank you for the follow-up.